Now we're going to see how we work on the videos, on the clips. I select a clip. Let's say, for example, this one. This one is 10 seconds long because I did it with S, so it saves the previous 10 seconds. Here you see the start time of the clip, and here you see the end time of the clip. If you want to extend it, you just drag this until where you want it. I want it to end here, and I want it to start here. Okay, now you see it's 14 seconds. You don't need to save or anything, everything is saved automatically. And now if I click on this button here, it opens the annotations module. Annotations means that now what I see here, this is the timeline of the clip. So I can play and pause with the spacebar, or I can move the needle with my mouse. So I can move the needle wherever I want to add something, let's say here, and I can now go here plus. And here under player visualizations, I have all the visualizations that I showed you at the beginning. So, I don't know, if I want to put a, a spotlight on this player, you click the spotlight, and you see this triangle showing the players that are identified. So if I want to put a spotlight on this guy, I just go here, I put a spotlight there. I can adjust the size of the box of the play around the player if I need to, normally it's not needed. And here I can select if I want to put the name or just a spotlight. Change the color if I want, accept it. And now I see here the spotlight that I just put. So the box shows the, the needle is at the start of the box. And now if I drag the end of the box, I'm saying until when I want to see that spotlight. I want to see the spotlight until he's there, for example. And now I can move the needle somewhere else and add any other visualization. So I can now go here. And say I want to put a magnifier on this guy. Can zoom in more or less, make it bigger or smaller, accept, and the same. I just drag these until the moment I want to see this uh, the magnifier. Same with anything. Yeah? I can go here and link, and I can put a line between this pair and this pair. If I want to display the distance, I do it here. And here you see the link. And now I say until when I want to see that link. So like this, and make that a little bit more there. Like this. Other things you can do, you can pin drawings. So you can go here, for example, shape. And I can highlight a space like this. I let it in this color. And now here I see the shape. And I say until when I want to display this shape. I'll delete this because it's in the middle. And now I see that the shape will stay as the camera moves. Um, other things I can add, uh, this is the pin drawing, so I can add all these drawings. And here I can do pause on drawings. So I can make a pause. Here you say for how many seconds you want the pause for. Let's say two seconds. And if in this pause I want to show any player visualization or any drawing, or I want to import an image or show a text box during the pause. Let's say I want to use the dragger and tell this player during the pause that he should be, let's say, here. And what else? Uh, we can go here and add text. I can do it with background, change the colors, change the size, whatever I want, put it wherever I want. If I want it for the whole clip, same. Go from the start all the way to the end. And that's pretty much it. Like this, you can do all the visualizations uh, that, that I showed you at the beginning. So now if I play the clip, everything will just show up as we go with. When it gets to the pause, it will pause, show the drawing, go back and continue. One last thing to show you, for example, if you look here, you see the, the shape we draw here is above the referee, is above that player, so it doesn't look nice. You can click on this button here on the right, here, and it says add chroma key. If I click, it adds this green line here. If I click on this button here, I can see the mask. So the, the, the players that are identified will be masked. And now you see that the line is now behind the player, and this player is also above the drawing. So you have to imagine this green line as a kind of a separator. Wherever is below the line will be below the players, wherever is above the line will be above the players. So for example, here you see the text box now looks weird because it's below. Click on the text box and using the top and down arrow, up and down arrow, I can push it up or down. So if I press up, 
Now the text box is above the chroma key, so it will be above the mask. Yeah, same if I move that uh, shape now above, you see that the players now, the referee and the player is hidden. If I move it down, then they, they are above. All right. So now I could go to the next clip, do the same, go to the next clip, do the same, etc. At the end, I have several options. Well, first, I can add a slide. I can put a slide somewhere. And by going to the slide, I go here to annotations, and it works the same way. I can add a drawing, an image, a text box, and I can have a slide to separate. 